Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Stacy. If you're new here, shout out to you. Welcome to the Stunner Gang. And of course, if you're not new and you are a bestie, shout out to you. You're the real MVP. So guys, today we will be filming Sip and Talk About It. And I know we have a different setting going on here. Don't mind the cars there. So basically what happened is like in my building, because I live in an apartment building and they're testing my, um, my file alarm. I planned to film this video like yesterday. It didn't happen. And I'm like, I'm absolutely doing it today only to realize that they're still testing and the fire alarm keep going off every few minutes. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to take it outside. I'm going to get a drink and I'm going to have my sip and talk in my car. So cheers guys i came to starbucks and i got me a caramel cookie crumble this is without caffeine because your girl for some reason my system just does not like co coffee even though i love it <laughs> whenever i um drink caffeine especially now like i would not sleep i would have chest pains and all these different things so i'm just like you know what let me just get it without coffee but still enjoy it so a uh, cheers to you let me take a sip but yeah, guys, so today's um, sip and talk is entitled, That Pedestal is Too High, okay? So the reason why I chose this one is because, like, I was just thinking the other day, like, sometimes when, and this can apply to friendships, um, like, girlfriends, um, or if you have guy friends, I feel like this is relatable to anyone really because we tend to put people on such a high pedestal that when things happen or things fall apart, like we're just so broken, so distraught. And as I said, this can apply to friendship. If you have guy friends, if you're a guy and you have guy friends or you have somebody that you look up to or if it be like a romantic relationship especially the romantic relationships i feel like a lot of times and i'm speaking from experience a lot of times when you know let's say you've been with someone okay and that person wasn't treating you the way that you deserve to be treated and you know you love that person so very much you set your expectation for them and how they should treat you so high that when things fall apart like you're so broken you're distraught you don't want to eat you don't want to sleep like back in my country they would say I have tabanka <laughs> it's basically when you're like somebody broke your heart and you don't want to eat you don't want to sleep you don't want to do anything like you kind of lose yourself and i feel like a lot of times um the reason why we get into this state when things fall apart in relationships or whatever is because we hold people on such a high pedestal that we should be actually holding God. We basically put people in the place and the position that we should be putting God. I feel like a lot of times when you meet people, even though, you know, you know, the experience is great, like they should not be like your end all be all. They shouldn't be like the source of your joy. They shouldn't be the reason why you're just so, so happy. That comes from within and whatever they give to you is extra. I feel like a lot of times when we go into people's life or we meet them, we just think that they are responsible for our happiness they're responsible for our joy they're responsible for how we live our life or like how far we get and we put them on such a high pedestal that no one can realistically keep up so i feel like we will be doing ourselves uh, a favor by you know meeting people where they're at and you know you can be the judge right i mean obviously if you're in somebody's life and what they're dishing out to you you can't manage it like you have the option to take yourself away from that situation but in other cases like meet people where they're at don't put people in a position where god should be in your life even if even if you love somebody so very much and they leave they walk out or things don't happen yeah you're gonna be broken you're gonna be sad you're gonna feel sad but like you shouldn't be i shouldn't say broken you you should we shouldn't be broken even though sometimes we put ourselves in that position if somebody walk out you shouldn't be broken to the point where oh my god my life just stopped like everything in my life just stopped it should be like oh okay well this is what it is i feel sad because obviously you're gonna miss the presence of that person in your life but you shouldn't be like Oh, I have to reinvent myself so deep. Like, oh my God, my life is over. Like, it shouldn't be like that. That means you're you're giving that person too much um, weight. Like, and it's not fair to them either. I feel like everybody is looking for 
something to fill some sort of void in their life and the only answer the only person that can fill that is christ it's jesus it's a relationship with him everything extra should be just what it is extra it shouldn't be that you know if you break up with somebody be it a friendship or like a romantic relationship that you're just so broken and you lost yourself you shouldn't give somebody so much power in your life because we are human we all are human we make mistakes we mess up we fall down we get up but you shouldn't put so much weight on them because uh, you're not allowing that person to be their authentic self you're not allowing that person to um show you who they really are and a lot of times when we put people in those positions like they have this unrealistic um what do i call it they they, they kind of have to put like what's that word that i'm looking for like they have to pretend with you to a certain degree and we really don't want people to pretend with us we want them to bring their authentic self we want to give them space to grow and all of these different things and i feel like yeah when we put people on such high pedestal you don't get the real them you really don't and this is something that i had to learn in my own life from experiences that i went through like just take people as they come and if they show you who they are there's that saying believe them but also give them the chance to like be themselves because that's how the relationship is gonna flow properly you be whole on your own whether you have somebody or not still be whole work on yourself so much that even if something is pulled from under your feet in the form of like a relationship or whatever you're not broken and it doesn't feel like a, a like a like a dagger like a knife like you don't want to exist <laughs> i've had that experience before and it's not good and it's actually caused me to like take a step back look at myself and you know reassess you know my the source of my joy who should be on that pedestal the relationship that i have with god you know what i mean that should be the relationship you have with god you should put god on that pedestal not people because we are all flawed we all make mistakes as i said we fall down and we get up you know what i mean so yeah that's what i wanted to talk to us about because i know this does not feel good it sucks um as i said i experienced it before i know i know people around me who ex who is experiencing that and i just feel like it needs to be said like stop putting people on such high pedestal in your life give them a chance to to show up to you and bring to you their self and then you bring your real self as well and then you guys can work together to to become the best version of yourself um but yeah god should be on the highest pedestal in your life now i promise that i'm not gonna make sip and talk about it no longer than 10 minutes we're currently at 752 seven minutes and 52 um seconds and i love that for us that brings us to the end of the video today if you agree with what i'm saying if you have anything to share feel free to share it in the comment section if you haven't done so already please give this video a nice big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel it'll really help me out and i will catch you in my next video bye